Alright, so GNV Estate is back here in the northeast. Yes, and so if you're looking for a three bedroom unit that is under $1.2 million in a mixed development, you've got to watch this video. Hi guys, I'm Greg. This is Jervis, and welcome to an episode of GNV Unlocked. So, Watertown at Pongo is a 99 years leasehold project that was completed in 2017, making it a very new project in the Pongo area. In terms of convenience, Watertown is easily the most convenient project in Pongo, being right above Waterway Point where you have shops, restaurants and a movie theatre for all your daily needs and relaxation with your family. Pongo MRT is right below the development as well, making travel easy and convenient. Travelling to downtown Dobigot takes approximately 25 minutes via the Northeast Line. There are also various schools for your kids such as Bella Primary School, Edgefield Primary, Pongo Secondary and Edgefield Secondary School. Now that we know a bit more about Watertown and its surrounding amenities, let's take a look at the unit. Alright, so welcome to this unit. Okay, so where I'm standing on right now is actually on the fourth floor of Waterway Point. This is a mixed development and this is an 807 square feet, three bedroom compact unit, okay? This unit here is amazing because what I really love about this unit is actually the high sling of 4.2 meters that greets your guests and yourself when you come into this apartment, okay? So where I'm standing on right now is actually where the kitchen is at. This is currently an open concept kitchen. If you want to enclose it with a certain glass panels or sliding doors, no problem at all. You can see that the developers actually have provided plenty of cabinet spaces for you. You have a designated spot for your fridge. You have your sink top over here. A couple of uh, kitchen table top where you can do your cooking and preparation of food. You have a cooker hood, your induction cooker, and you also have a beauty microwave itself. Plenty of shelves for you to keep a lot of things, right? Directly linking the kitchen is where the main dining area is. Currently, what the owners have done is that they have flushed a table towards the wall so that you can en uh, enjoy a bigger space here. And this is actually a four-seater dining set. So if you want to have a bigger dining area, you can just extend a table out and put maybe two more chairs. So if you're a family of six, no problem at all. And this feature wall is something that I think is a very unique because this place here is actually, you have a glass panel here that can double up as a whiteboard as well if you are doing tuition with your kids. There are plenty of shelves above, you know, the owners have also done up a shelf here for you to put some of your items here as well. Okay, directly linking the dining area is where the main living hall is at, right? Currently, we have a four-seater sofa here. This space is relatively vacant because actually this is not owner-occupied. But if you want a better conceptualization of this entire space, let our listing manager know so that they can give you a 3D conceptualization. No problem, right? But what I really love about this entire place is not only the very comfortable ceramic tiles I'm standing on, and they are all marble-like looking, the space from the sofa all the way to the television console is actually very wide as well, right? And as we know, as we can see, this to my right is actually one of the bedrooms as well. This TV console here can double up uh, as a swing TV console. So you can just double up as a TV for the living room or a TV for the room as well. So no problem, right? So currently now we actually have a 55-inch television. If you want to put up to a 65-inch television, no problem at all, okay? So let me show you my favorite part of this space and you guys know it and that's the balcony. Let's take a look. Alright, so welcome to my favorite part of this space and that is balcony. I know that most of you guys who have watched my videos, you know I love the balcony because this is the outdoor part of the house, right? This is the, sp uh, the spot where you can actually enjoy a cup of coffee, enjoy a glass of champagne, no problem at all. And this balcony space is actually very sizable. You can put a, su a couple of outdoor furnitures here, no problem. And what I love about this balcony is that it is north facing, so no afternoon sun, no morning sun, and look at the view outside, right? This is the amazing pool view that you get to enjoy when you're on a balcony as well, even though you're on the fourth floor, right? And this entire space here, if you want to enclose it up, actually the developers have provided by four balcony grills for you to cover it up so that the rain doesn't come in as well. Let's take a look at a very unique study room. Let's go. Alright, so you have seen the living hall, the dining area, the kitchen as well as the balcony. Let me share with you how the study area of this property looks like, right? And where you're standing on right now is actually where the study area is and you may be wondering, why is there no door here, right? So this is the spot for you to put your sliding door of, or any door of your choice. You can use your creativity on that. But what the developers has done is that they did not want to put a door there to prevent you guys to feel too claustrophobic because they don't want the whole room to feel too clustered, right? Uh, what's amazing about this space here is that there is a 4.2 meter ceiling height, a luxury of space that not not many can enjoy and there's really a wardrobe here so if you want to convert this entire place into a bedroom just put a bed here put a door there and that is done right and what i love about this room here is actually it comes with an ensuite toilet as well let's take a look at how it looks like and this toilet here is actually uh, used to serve both rooms right and there are 
two doors here, two sliding doors here that come with dual lock function. So that allows you both parties to have privacy uh, when in the toilet, right? This toilet here, you can see ceramic tiles on the wall, ceramic tiles on the floor, all of concrete theme. You have the sink top here, a large piece of mirror here for you. Amazingly, you also have a spot for you to put your washer and dryer here. And what I love about this toilet is actually you have a spot that is designated for your toilet bowl and you also have a spot that is also designated for your showering area, right? Both separated by two different doors, all right? Let Greg bring you through the other parts of this property. Let's go. Alright guys, so I'm sure that Jervis has already shown you the living and the balcony space of this apartment. So let me bring you through the two bedrooms of this unit. So currently where I'm standing on right now is actually where the first common room is at. As you can see over here on my left, it's currently an open concept kind of a bedroom. But if you wish to do up the false wall, it's perfectly doable. So this space has been left empty by the owner and it's entirely up to your imagination as to how you want this unit to be. So when we look at this bedroom, currently the space over here is big enough for you to put a single size bed. So if you want to use this as a guest space, it's possible. Alternatively, if you want to use this as a study room, it's doable as well. All you have to do is put up your tables over here and the chairs and it's great. So I'm assuming if you want to use it as a bedroom or your wardrobe space here has been cleverly designed so you have your sliding wardrobe with all your racks all already included and right in front of me is the same bathroom that Jervis brought you through just now so it creates a bit of an ensuite effect for you now let me bring you to the loft space let's go all right guys so i'm the on the loft space of the first common bedroom so as we can see over here on my right you can tell that actually the space is big enough for you to put a full queen size bed Alternatively, if you want to put just a super single, you can put up a small little table on the right so you know you can actually put some of your stuff, your alarm clock, or you want to read a book or put up a light so that you know you can do some reading before you sleep. It's all totally possible. On my left, you can see that actually all the plugs and sockets are already done up. So actually, if you want to mount a TV over here so you can watch some of your favorite shows right before you sleep or on the comfort of your bed, that's all possible. So I would envision, you know, if you were a kid, you have kids at home who will like you have this kind of space where at the bottom you have your study area and on top is your sleeping area is really good and I think they will be really excited to have this space. So now follow me to the master bedroom. Let's go. Alright guys, so now welcome to my favourite part of this entire unit and that is the master bedroom. So as compared to a lot of the newer projects today, this master bedroom is actually of a regular size and it's of a good size, squarish, so that you can put all the furniture that you want. So currently on my left over here, you can see that the owner has placed a bed frame for a queen size bed and even with that, you can see that there's space over here for me to put one side dressing table and another one on that side. And one thing that you've realised that I've always mentioned about in master bedrooms is that you have this space over here for you to put your favourite TV so it can be 50 inch or 60 inch which allows you to enjoy your favourite show from the comfort of your own bed and one last thing I'd like to mention is that this is a full length window and it opens up to a magnificent view of the pool so it just reminds you every day when you wake up it's like waking up in a Bali resort and the best part is that this view is north facing so you don't get any of the morning and afternoon sun affecting your beauty sleep Alright guys, so before I show you the master on suite, on my left and my right, I would just like to point out that there are floor to ceiling height wardrobes and it's all provided to you by a developer. And the good thing that I think it's really brilliantly done is that it makes use of the loft ceiling height in, of this unit and most importantly, it has mirrors. So at any point in time, at any point in the room, you can check your appearance to make sure that you're always 100% ready to go. So now, moving into the master on suite. Alright guys, so we are now in the master ensuite and as we look around, the master ensuite is in a very pristine condition. The owner kept it really well maintained. And as we look around, we see that even the floor, as well as the tiles on the ceiling, as well as the wall, is all of this very smooth kind of material. So it gives you a very luxurious and premium feel. And as we head down into the shower area, we realise that it's of a sunken concept. So it's something that's very unique, something that you don't usually see in a lot of the newer projects or even some, a lot of the older projects, you don't really see it. So this is something that's really unique. So as we head back up, we can see on my left over here, there's a very, very big size mirror so that you can check your appearance before you head out to work or before you head out to a night of relaxation with friends. 
The countertop is kept in a well-maintained condition and right below it, you have cabinets for you to put your shampoo or any of your cleaning toiletry needs. So now, let's go and meet Jervis back in the living room. Let's go! Hey Greg, yep. this is a beautiful unit. It is. It's a beautiful development mm. and we have reached the part of what, what do, do we, we like, like about, about this property? property? So Greg, what do you like about this property? I think it's really like the loft space. Yes. You know, it gives a very landed kind of view. Yeah. And I think like for kids, they will love that loft bedroom that I brought them. Yes, it's a dream come true for a lot of them, it is. right? And what I love is not only the high ceiling of like 4.2 meters, the balcony space is also pool facing, right? right? Exactly. And there's even like the balcony grills that allows you to cover the entire balcony so they can have alfresco dining without being affected by the rain. And it's windy. Yes, it's very windy as well. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching yet another episode of the JNA Unlock series. If you love this video, do remember to give us a like subscribe and also leave us some positive comments right and if you love this unit do remember to give our listing manager a call thank you so much for watching yet an episode of GNA.